Have you guys noticed that Nigeria always wins against Ghana, South Africa, and all the countries in Africa that want to do gra gra with Nigeria? All the countries in Africa that want to challenge Nigeria. Nigeria is always having the last laugh. Nigeria is always smiling at the end. Nigeria is always the winner. And I will quote you all the different examples, especially with these two countries, Ghana, South Africa. Because I don't know if when you are born in Ghana, you first of all take you to a school and start teaching you how to be negative towards Nigerians. It's like when they born you in South Africa, they are born in Ghana. If I, Ghanaians, to be honest, if I they lie, if you are a Ghanaian and you love Nigeria, and you think Nigeria is the best country in Africa, and you think Nigerians are the best and most successful Africans, comment for comment section. Me say I go dash you money. Now, if you are a Ghanaian and you have that conviction, and you can proudly say it amongst your fellow Ghanaians or Africans that no African country is better than Nigeria, and no Africans have the success rate, the hard work rate, the advantages, the power that Nigeria has. If you have that audacity as a Ghanaian, talk now. Your own fellow Ghanaians will go press your neck. They're not going to let you accept that truth. The same thing goes with South Africa. See, one million good things can happen in Nigeria. One billion achievements, one billion success can happen in Nigeria. But Ghanaians and South Africans will never celebrate it. Ghanaians and South Africans, for their mind, Nigeria will always be poverty republic. For their mind, Nigeria will always be Yahoo republic. For their mind, Nigerians will always be drug dealers. For their mind, Nigerians will always be generator republic. For their mind, Nigeria will always be an uh, insecure republic. You understand? That's what they know. It doesn't matter what good things happen in Nigeria. Even when the generator republic thing, one generator republic, Last, last, the country that is more embarrassed because of electricity publicly now in Africa is Ghana. South Africa themselves, they are embarrassed. These countries laugh at Nigeria for lack of electricity, but yet Nigeria is the one supplying them gas for their electricity to Ghana and both South Africa. They are negotiating the one for South Africa. Nigeria cut off the supply to Ghana and we all saw the effect. So how can you win? How? How is it possible? They, they never win. They just never win against Nigeria. And in the end, it's like karma. It's like when you, when you, when you talk about Nigeria negatively, eh? instant karma they do you. Because last, last, that same problem where they laugh Nigeria for, that same problem, your own will come double in a way that is a public disgrace even that will happen to you. You understand? That's exactly the situation of Ghana and South Africa when it comes to electricity right now. Meanwhile, Nigeria, they are good. Nigeria is having stable power, even places that don't have it, they have their generators, they can afford it. So, they don't have any issue anywhere. Come to, they say Nigerians be drug dealers, Nigerians be thief people, Nigerians be that. Nigerians be Yahoo people. That's what Ghanaians and South Africans know. If you, if you, if you like, say, eh, carry whatever, if you like, carry stone put for their neck. Say, change your mind on that one, they will never change it because that's who they know Nigerians are. They will never change it. But last, last, the people that are sh embarrassing themselves globally are Ghanaians. Now, them, they chief Guinness World Record. The entire world knows about it already. Now, them be the number one destination of stolen cars in America, Europe. The world already knows that if you find your car from America and Europe, you know, Siam, go Ghana or the car, they Ghana, they don't see and carry and go Ghana. How the car they say enter Ghana. When I go accuse Nigeria, now they, they call Ghana, call commit all those things. Now Nigeria they come. South Africa say, oh, Nigeria be the highest place where uh, 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 people they do drug, all of this and that. Accuse them of insecurity and blah, blah, blah. Is there any country in Africa that is more insecure than South Africa? South Africa own a to, to insecurity. As a matter of fact, South Africa can't be like America, where people they buy people for streets. People, they buy people for streets. People walk around in. You walk around in South Africa, you're scared. Because there are streets, Dubai. Eh? In Dubai, you don't play. I've seen videos in Dubai where cars can't park like this. They can't move a, a millimeter. Can't finish people in broad daylight. They can't use millimeter. Finish people straight. People sleep straight. Even a South African artist, we saw how he, he, he buy the same way. Yes, it's an African artist, a rapper. We all know him. I'm forgetting that his name. 
So you can clearly see that all that these people have to use against Nigeria end up working against them, end up embarrassing them. So Nigeria is always the winner. Nigeria is always the victim. Nigeria has always had the last laugh. Right now, even Ghanaians who claimed that the music industry, Nigeria has copied from them. Nigeria learned every music from them. Nigeria learned everything from Ghana. Even now, Ghanaians, they shame to talk it again. They're not ashamed. You will never see a Ghanaian confidently saying that anymore. Now they are saying, oh, okay, Nigeria is doing better than us in music. At least now they agree. Say Nigeria, they do better than them. Nigeria is doing better than us in music. But, but, they will now use Connie to say, but they learned it from us. They did this from us. It started in Ghana. We Ghana created Afrobeat. That's how they will change it. But last, last, they don't agree. Say nobody is better. By the time, eh? David Obonabo, all these Nigerian artists were not going to perform in the UK. When they were still performing in Africa, going to Ghana, shutting down stadium, going to Cameroon, shutting down stadium, when they were still Africa based, no Ghanaian could ever in this lifetime accept that Nigerians are better in music. Until, until these Nigerian musicians abandoned Africa and decided to focus on Europe, America, and diaspora, that is when these Ghanaians gave up the fight because they came to realize that. Their own musicians can never do it. What Nigerian musicians are doing abroad, no Ghanaian musician can ever do it. So who has the last laugh? My problem is, why must it always be that they will doubt and argue about Nigeria till Nigeria has to prove it? And Nigeria is still proving it. And even though Nigeria is proving it, many of them are still not accepting it. What's it doing a problem? Even as the electricity issue in Ghana got exposed, Many of them will still come out to say, oh, Nigeria don't get electricity, Nigeria be generator republic. Even as their citizen was exposed as Yahoo and Frauder of Guinness World Records, they will still come out and say, only Nigerians they do Yahoo, only Nigerians they do such things. Why? When I know they shame, these people don't go market, eh? they can't sh sell uh, shame by disgrace. That is it. That's how I can describe them. But whether they like it or not, Nigeria will always have the last laugh. And last my it is what it is your boy as your magic on this one again smash the like button smash the notification bell come back anytime you're free because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all god bless y'all cheese